Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about personally, I think the best way to do the pitch band in Logic. So I have searched this question online. Some people say use this pitch uh, shifter, like using the semitones to do an automation based on this. But I, personally, I found this is not so controllable, so I don't suggest this. Um, and another one is when you open the piano roll. So when you click this and then you go here and you change it to pitch band and then you can do a pitch changes uh, uh, over here but I think this is also not so quite uh, manageable so I don't per uh, you can do it but I don't personally I don't suggest it and there's another way uh, for example in all the units there's Apple and then there's all AU pitch yeah this one you can use it this is good like it has uh, so many controls uh, like for dimensions you can you can change it this is re very good uh, I personally suggest this one and there's another one it's uh, it's called uh, it's still under uh, uh, audio unit uh, Apple and then it's called AU new pitch uh, this one is under my logic is 10.16.1 uh, so it ha has this uh, AU new pitch and then you can click it and then um, it, it only has uh, two parameters not so many parameters um, yeah, but because this one is the most used one, the the tonality, which basically means uh, the pitch. Um, so it, it, you can see it's uh, 2,400. Uh, so each 100 means one semitone up. So uh, I'm going to use this one and to show you how to do this. And um, yeah, so you, you select the track you want to change, do the ch uh, pitch band. Let me click A. And then... Well, I already add some pitch band, but uh, I will uh, delete them. Uh, I will show you uh, how to do them from scratch. Like, like just uh, do this. Um, yeah, so you click here. Let me click here. The part you want to do the pitch band. For example, just three dots, and then uh, you you drag it up. Uh, so as I said, um, one hundred uh, cents means one uh, one semitone. So I I want to do like twelve. Uh, so it means uh, like one scale up. Uh, so yeah, so you see here uh, the number is a little bit uncontrollable. So here when you click um, you can click control um, To do the really precise changes like uh, Yeah, oops um, Right here, I'm gonna change it just to uh, To 100 uh, to, to 1200. Yeah that's perfect. So yeah, so another uh, problem is you see here, uh, what if I want to make this line a little bit curved? It's not like straight line. So there's another tool you need to use. You need to go to here, um, the automation curve tool. You click that. And then you can make it like uh, a little bit curvy like this, maybe. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. So yeah, I want to make it in that way. So yeah, so you can hear the uh, widget what's out what is it yeah so this is a little bit drastic but yeah so you got what I what I'm saying yeah so yeah that's uh, that's awful today yeah uh, thanks for watching yeah hope you all, 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 all hope you have a good day oh another way another thing I want to add is for example uh, if you want to copy it you don't want to do it again again you can simply just uh, select this all this stuff you select it you copy copy and then you can paste it directly into wherever you want to uh, put it so it's really convenient yeah that's all for today yeah thanks bye bye